actually have a lot of time to do this. I'm literally going somewhere soon, so you're gonna have to judge like this crack background and everything but i just wanted to do this whole girl video for you guys real quick because i have been dying to do it all my stuff's over here so if you see me looking that way that's what's going on i actually have a mirror all the other side of the room so we're gonna see how this works do i have a palette over here with a mirror in it i don't so my first holy grail i want to talk about is my moisturizer sunscreen is like super super important so i use the Olay complete um this is their uv moisturizer it has spf i can't even see anymore but yeah, so they have SPF 15 in it. I feel like you don't need a lot. I feel like people get a lot of like crazy SPFs, like SPF 100, SPF 50, 60, 70, 75. You don't really need that. I think on a max 30 is good. I feel like after that, it's overkill. Um, Jackie Ina has an entire video on sunscreen and things like that. So I didn't necessarily use it for reference for me. I kind of just found what works for myself. But if you were someone who has no idea like the importance of sunscreen, in your moisturizer and in your makeup, I would just just watch that video as a baseline. Although I would say find one that works for you because I've tried multiple different sunscreens for my face, um, moisturizers with sunscreen in it, I should say, and some of them have broken me out. So the Olay Complete is a good layer of moisture. It gives my skin natural luminosity, but it also has SPF 15 in it, and I also put it on my neck because you know. The next holy grail that I use for my lips is the Mac Lip Scrumptious, and it doesn't matter which one, just any of the four. I guess flavors or scent, not scents. Any of the four flavors they have work. I just use it to scrub off my dead skin cells on my lips so my lips are mad dry, especially in the winter. So after I scrub my lips, I then use the nip, the Vaseline Lip Therapy. I use the rose one. This is the only most lip, this is the only chapstick that I use. Sorry for not looking at the camera much, it's just that everything is everywhere, so you have to excuse that. The first thing that I do is prime my face. I use a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and the Fash and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. That is what I use to prime my face, and I do this first because I pre-conceal my blemishes before I do my eyebrows and the rest of my makeup. And I use the primer water. Notice that these are both minis because I'm broke. Okay, just, just pointing that out. The reason I use two primers is because I feel like the Smashbox Photo Finish blurs the skin, whereas this one gives me that extra moisturizer that I need because I have dry skin. And it's winter time, so my skin's super, super dry. So what I pre consider my blemishes with, is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. It says coffee. What's going on? Okay, where's Pure Beige? Okay, so under the eye, of course. And I honestly uh, look like a gross monster right now because I pulled an all nighter working on my new channel, which is a lifestyle and food channel. So excuse my ugly bags, but I'll tell you more about that channel in another video. Okay, so I pre conceal everything and then I'm gonna do my eyebrows after this because I let this sit while I do my eyebrows so that it's not like wet and moving when I add my foundation that was a lot oh, concealer. So awesome. pre concealing kind of looks like this so it looks like a lot like I said it goes under the makeup and it helps shade match me better and give me more coverage so now it's time for the eyebrows which I'm actually gonna do off camera, but I do wanna show you what I use for eyebrows because it's super important to me. Okay, so what I use for brows is the new Elf Eyebrow Pencil. This was literally $2. I use the shade Deep Brown. It works best for me, even though my braids are black right now, my weaves are usually like 1B black. Deep Brown just works for everything because it's dark enough to work for those with brown hair, and it's dark enough, but it's not so dark that it looks black. I feel like it's a good, even mix. They do have a medium brown, dark brown, and I think like a regular brown. Don't quote me, it's less than $5, and it is popping. It makes my brows look really, really natural. So I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then come back. So the next holy girl that I have, and I use in every single video, Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Concealer Foundation. This foundation is, like I said, it's a full coverage, medium to full coverage, depending on how you wear it. It is a two-in-one concealer and foundation, very true to the name, and it literally gives you a photo finish look. A very airbrushed, like I said, depending on how you want to wear it. And it is so beautiful on the skin. If you have dry skin, I recommend it only because it dries down, so it's not like you look greasy or dewy necessarily, but it does 
make the skin look radiant, looks fresh, and looks supple and not dry or matte. We're gonna go ahead and use this. And I like that this has the doe foot applicator. I feel like it just makes it easier to apply. Um, I mean, personally, some people don't like this. Some people prefer pumps or they prefer like a liquid. I just feel like this is kind of like in between a pump only because it's hard to sell when you run out. But I've had this for a while and I'm still doing pretty good. And it's only $26, so for a high-end foundation, that is really not that bad. Okay, also my shade, I'm sorry. I am the shade Golden, which is number 24. So, I put it a little bit on top of the concealer, but then I also bring it down here in places where it isn't. Um, and then I bring it down and across here. You guys can see. So, I do have some Holy Grail brushes. I may not be able to use them all because some of them are dirty, so please excuse that. But my Holy Grail brush to use to stipple is the Real Technique Stippling Brush. I like to use this to spread this foundation out because of the way that it, it's kind of like a tart shape tape, shape tape consistency. So I feel like if I went in with a sponge right away, it wouldn't blend it seamlessly, so I use this. This product is new. I know you guys have never seen this on my channel, but I did just want to say that the, ooh, I just got dirty. Wow. That quickly. Never used, and I got so dirty. <laughs> but a holy grail for me on this channel is also the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I'm trying out the new lavender one. So this is not a technical holy grail, but the facial sprays in general are just a favorite for me. So I'm going to use this to wet my brush, and I also use this to hydrate my face throughout the process, only because I do use a powder, which we'll get to next. So I just wet my brush a little with the uh, Mario Vanessa Facial Spray, and then I just stipple. Oh, this smells amazing. The one that also really uses has a pillow spray as well, so. Hmm. I don't do like a full blown blend, so if I look a little crazy after this, it's only because I'm going to use a sponge, so it doesn't truly, truly matter. This is just, an, this is just to spread it, like I said. You lay your edges a little finer that they got messed up. Under your scarves. All that hard work for nothing. Okay, so ignore my edges because I don't know what the fit they look like. You just see how it gives me that like natural like gloss, you know what I'm saying? Without making me, I, you guys can't feel it, but without making me do it. So I do want to show you what my Holy Grail sponges, even though it's dirty and I won't be using it. But the Real Technique sponges are my Holy Grail. The reason I'm not using it, obviously, is because it's dirty. I'll be using another newbie. Sorry, I feel like I'm being so like not true to video. But I'm going to use the new Elf Total Face Sponge because Alyssa Ashley uses the black one. And I'm just gonna try the pink one, or the fuchsia one, whatever you wanna call it. Because it's the same shape as a real technique, so I just felt more comfortable buying this one. Should try something new, but I'm not, so. Okay, where's my facial spray? Here we go. Just gonna spray it with the facial spray. Just press that in a little bit more. I feel like the real technique sponge better for this. I feel like this took up more. I want it to look more like skin and I like how like this foundation similar to what people say they get with the Fenty which I can't use like I said in my last video because it's too drying um what was I trying to say yeah I get a very skin like finish when it's all said and done so I really like that the next thing that I do is my concealer my highlighting concealer, and I use the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting. Is that cool? Yeah, the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer in the shade Medium to highlight under my eyes. I really like this concealer. It's thirty bucks, which is a little pricey, but I just I'm feeling it. My friend Amanda put me onto this. I tried it out because she said so, and I literally don't want to use anything else. Like I said, the Doe Foot Applicator is what gets me, and I just feel like I used to have the name that should not be named America's Number One Concealer as a favorite and a holy girl, but this just replaces it for multiple reasons, not even just the quality, but the blend, the color, and um, obvious reasons. So I really just put it under the eyes, I do it here, and then a little on the nose. I just let this dry down while this sets, I'm gonna go fix my edges, so I'll be back. I also blend down in my smile lines, uh, just to avoid creasing. Right now I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder that everyone's been talking about and I'm going to review it on my channel so I'm not going to say a lot about it because I have a review coming I don't want to spoil it. But this is currently what I'm using right now and I'm using the shade Medium. So the Ankle Foundation Brush from Real Technique is my holy grail brush to do this with so I just apply a small bit at a time and press it into the under eye area. And 
I also hit my eye with it because you see I get creasing on the lid. If I'm not wearing eyeshadow, this is what I do. And since for Holy Grail, I'm not wearing eyeshadow because that's not a Holy Grail look for me. I don't have a Holy Grail eyeshadow palette right now. I feel like I use whatever I'm in the mood for. So I don't use eyeshadow. Or correction, I won't be using eyeshadow in this video. Sorry if you're waiting for that. I just don't have one, so I just set my eye with the powder. So then what I'll do after I pat my powder, just to make it look more seamless, is take my simple brush and glue, just pat around those corners. You gotta bring that in more. Okay, and then I'll do it on the lid too, just for color purposes. So before I contour, I just spray myself with the spray to just let set the powder on my face, and because like I said, I have dry skin really quickly. So my Holy Grail contour palette is, if you guys watch my videos, you know I beat this palette up. It is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I just, I just kill this. I just kill this. Okay, like y'all know. I literally just kill it. It just dies. I don't really have a specific Holy Grail brush for my contour. I lately have been using the number four blush brush from the BH Cosmetic Rose Quart line. I feel like it makes my contour not like, super, super sharp. It kind of gives it more of a natural contour. But if not, if I want like a super sharp glam beat down contour, I'll use my e.l.f. contour brush. It's thicker and it has that clear shape to it to just really get that contour popping. So sometimes I'll use this brush. And then if I want something softer, I'll use this brush. So I think today, because this one is dirty, I'll use this one. But with this one, I have to use just really sparingly because this it packs on so much product that sometimes things can get a little out of hand. So brush is packed up, and you're gonna see just how pop this brush works. Okay, so the natural contour on my face is like right here from my ear area. I can really see the color of it, so we're just gonna we're really just gonna tap right there, just there. I blend it downward to where it needs to be. So I don't want to add too much. Like I said, this brush packs on so much, so there's literally no need to do more than just this. Like that's literally all you need to do. In that one area, because when I blend it down, all that pigment will blend out so great, because it's probably such an easy blend. So my favorite brush to blend this out with is the Real Techniques Buffer Brush. It is buffing brush, buffer brush, whatever you want to call it. I love this brush to blend out my contour. It's the only brush I use. Like, I don't, I don't care if it's dirty, I just, I have to use it. I don't even know a better brush to blend this out with. Down to get the shape, circ small circular motions to um, soften it. My Holy Grail brush for my nose is the Royal and Lang Liquid Precise Angle Brush. It's used, I forgot to clean these brushes before I did this. This whole record, the like whole recording process was spontaneous. I didn't have time to clean anything, sorry. But this is the Royal and Lang Liquid Precise Angle Brush. It is dense, it is angled, it's great for the nose. Ready? So I'm going to use that middle color. So we're gonna buff again. I just love this brush. Like I literally just squeeze it with my fingers and just go ham here. What I also started doing recently um, was doing it right here. I was just adding a little bit of the excess right there because it has a natural shadow there anyway. I feel like this makes the cuticle pop a little bit more. Just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner. I talk about this in like every video that I use it in, but the Maybelline Catitude Liner. Why did I just say that? My sister calls this the Maybelline Catitude Liner, now she has me calling it that. But the Maybelline Curvature Liner, this unique shape makes this liner so easy to use. It's so it's really pigmented, and even when it's, it's just, it's a really good liner, and it's at its drugstore, so it's like not expensive. Time for a little grand mascara. So for my Holy Grail mascara, all of the Lancome mascaras are my favorite. Lancome Grandiose and the Mejor Big are the ones I'm using right now, but this is my favorite out of the two because this is more lengthening. So in order for the ones I like the best, I think actually surprisingly even the Mejor Big, Mejor Big is newer. That's my rank number one. Hypnose Drama is number two. I would say Death of Seal is number three, and then fourth would be the Grandiose, but I like those all really good. But y'all know my top of all those is Lancome Pro Fiber. I'm just out of that right now. I haven't been using it lately because I've been obsessed with Lancome, so. 
Y'all, it just makes these my lashes so dark, so, so voluminous and not clumpy. But it actually gives it more length than you would be thinking. I love the wand on it. I just like, uh, this is what I call a messy wand. I know it has an actual name, I just don't know it. Sorry, guys. I did the rest of my mascara off camera, but I just love the way this like, my lashes look. Um, I don't know if I said this before, but it's not that the Mejor Big actually has lengthening as aspects to it, in my opinion. I just feel like because it's so dark and voluminous, that just makes the lashes more prominent, making my little baby lashes look long. The lashes I'm gonna use are not that's a holy girl, they're actually new ones. I just wanted to use them in honor of National Lash Day. So I picked up the Jasmine Eyelore Lashes. The reason I'm able to use these is because Eyelore is my favorite brand of lashes. And I don't have a specific one that I like better than the other. I just love the brand in general. And I feel like this is very close to my style. Wispy and dramatic is always what I say is my favorite. And I feel like these dramatic lashes, I just feel like fit that description because they are slightly wispy, but like I said, dramatic. So but these fit perfectly congrats to jasmine brown on the lashes i know i don't know her personally but it's just nice to see a girl of color popping off you know what i'm saying like i just love seeing my own people doing great things in the industry that i'm passionate about and just putting on for us and showing people that we do wear makeup we are a market that we do deserve to be recognized so thanks so much here for making lashes with eye lord they look amazing let's try them on Okay, so these jasmine lashes are a lot more dramatic than I thought. They're definitely, I think, wispy or not wispy. I don't know. Let's wispy more dramatic. I wasn't expecting that. They look more wispy in the box, in my opinion. Maybe I'm tripping. I like them, though. I'm not taking them off. Okay, so for Holy Grail highlighter, that's what we're doing next. Let me spray my face with my Holy Grail setting spray, NYX Dewy setting spray. I have dry skin. What were y'all expecting? I wasn't about to pull out nothing matte to set my face with. So I should have done my, this before I use my lashes, stupid. But sorry. Okay, I just... Get her done. My favorite highlighter brush is the Royal Lane Nickel Fan Brush that everyone got in their Ipsy box sometime in 2017. I have other fan brush, I have other highlighter brushes that I like, but this one is the best because the way I like my highlighter to look, this just gives the best look specifically for my Holy Girl highlighter. I have different brushes I prefer for different highlights. So, but this is what works best for my specific Holy Girl highlighter, which is the Fenty Beauty highlighter in the color Me and Money Hustle Baby. So this is my fave. And I actually am going to combine that with a new Holy Grail of mine, which I got for Christmas, is the ABH Glow Kit. And the colors I'm going to be using are Toraline. That's the color I'm using because I like the way it mixes. I like that cool tone bronze with a nice gold. So I do Me Money first and then Toraline and then Blend. So the way that I do this is I do a small swipe and then I swipe and then I pat downward. Pat downward even though it's paper. So I up to give it a nice motion, but to blend it out more seamlessly, Downward, so like I said, and then just downward, downward, downward. I feel like this helps get into the skin more. I will let you know that um, the Fenty Beauty lip gloss is my Holy Grail lip gloss, but I can't find it, so I'll be using another one that I really like. Finally, my plans have arrived, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Pat this in. So my Holy Grail lip color that I'm going to use, another one that I'm obsessing with, is the Sephora Matte Lip Paint in the color Blackberry Sorbet. It's either Blackberry Tart or Blackberry Sorbet. Either way. And this is like my favorite color. Let's look at it. I get compliments every time I wear it. Every time. You have to jet now, my rides here. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is my Holy Girl makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if I look a ratchet mess. I really do not have something to change, come back and do an outro. So I'm sorry about like how scrag this was, but I told y'all from the jump that this was like really like spontaneous, random. I decided to do this last minute. If you guys like this video, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the gang gang. We are comfortable, we are confident, and we are unique here on this channel. And I want you guys to be a part of everything we have going on here in 2018. If you don't subscribe, you got to start the year over again. So just do right by yourself and do right by me, right? Right. We're in this together. We're a team. As well, speaking of thumbs up, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up if you are digging the Holy Grails. I will link them all down below so that you guys know what I am loving. I actually do have a post on Instagram with my Holy Grails on it if you want more full details. And I'll put link that down below as well. 
Speaking of social media, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, XO underscore CNT. I post Snapchat makeup tutorials, I post mini hauls on Instagram, I post looks on Instagram, and I talk everything beauty related on Twitter. So you want to get linked up with me everywhere so that we can be full circle friends this year and get lit. I gotta run, but this has been fun. Love you guys. Bye. Hello. I'm sorry, baby, but we only sweat the chase. So honestly, baby, you can be next. Playing with both sides like you playing with regret. Playing with this size like you playing with a check.